average value of a function. So using the properties of integrals, we can actually determine the average value of a function. Just like in derivatives, where we use the mean value theorem to determine the average rate of change, we can find the average area, or the average distance traveled, of a function. So the average, then, of a function is 1 divided by b minus a times the integral of f of x from a to b. So in example 3, we're going to find the average value of f of x equals 4 minus x squared on the interval 0 to 3. So we're going to go ahead and use the definition that the average value of f is equal to 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So a is going to be 0, b is going to be 3. So it's 1 over 3 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 3 of 4 minus x squared dx. So this is equal to 1 third times the integral from 0 to 3, 4 minus x squared dx. And to evaluate the integral, you're going to go to our calculator. And then you're going to hit math. And then scroll down, I think it's math 9, but you scroll down until you get to fn int, which means finite integral. Hit enter, and then we're going to place our values in. So 0 to 3, 4 minus x squared, and then dx. And you hit enter, and you get 3. So it's 1 third times 3, which is 1. So the average value of f of x equals 4 minus x squared on 0 to 3 is 1. So go ahead on your own and try this problem out. Alright, let's see how we did. So the average value of f is going to be 1 over 3 minus 0, integral from 0 to 3, x squared plus 1 dx. So this is 1 third times math 9 0 to 3 x squared plus 1 and dx you get 12 so the answer is 4 and that's how you find the average value of an integral. The mean value theorem for definite integrals. If f is continuous on the interval a to b, then at some point c in a to b, f of c is equal to 1 divided by b minus a of times the integral of f of x from a to b. What this means is that at some point when I plug in a number c, to the original function, the output is going to be equal to the average of the integral. So that value, there is a specific y value that is equal to the average of the area under the curve. A continuous function on a closed interval always assumes its average value at least once in the interval. Assumes just means it has the value of the average. Assumes means to take on or is to exhibit or something like that. The same way that the mean value theorem applied for derivatives in the sense that if it's in a closed interval then there exists a c value such that f of c equals the average rate of change with an integral there is a c value such that f of c equals the average of the area.